Welcome back to the channel where we are wildly inconsistent about everything, including when I film, when I edit, when I upload, absolutely everything. But today, because it's still technically May and hopefully when I actually get this video up it will still be May as well, glam bag! Glam bag, glam bag, glam bag, glam bag, glam bag, glam bag, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. You like hear something shaking around in it. It's the May Glam Bag. I'm super excited for it. I did look at this one because after last time and me being really confused about what the products were, I was like, you know what, we're not going to do that again. Ooh. So it looks like different passport stamps. This is actually really fun because I have only one stamp on my passport and it's from the Philippines. My mom is actually there right now. I'm super jealous that she's there without me, but I'm hoping that at some point my passport will get to look something like this. So let's just start going through what's in it, shall we? This month's theme is Go There. Super exciting. They're, uh, there's some girls just, you know, celebrating here. They're in London because that's the London Underground symbol right there. Um, so it says, hey, Ipster, we're writing you to, we're writing to you from a cafe in Paris. Roxette is bunching on crepes, Lynette is snapping pics, and we're all soaking in this beautiful city. Okay, I guess maybe I was wrong. Why are we here? At Ipsy, we're obsessed with self-expression and we found that sometimes you need to get lost so you can find yourself. To prove the magic of travel, we busted out our passports, hopped a red-eye to London, and took a train to Paris. Okay, I was right. That is the London Underground. We laughed, we cried, we drank proper tea, and ate too many croissants, and we captured every step of the way so we can share it all with you. Check out our journey, learn more about your glam bag pics, and see tons of travel-inspired beauty tips and inspo on the Ipsy mobile app. Then start planning your next adventure. Whether you're dreaming of a road trip, a beach vacay, or you're ready to trek across the globe, it's time to go there. Safe travels, Lynette, Lonnie, and Roxette. Hashtag Ipsy go there. I'm not going anywhere again until July, but that'll be a good time. First thing, every time they do masks, they don't fit in the bag. So here it is. This is the Sir Medic Plus Poreless Carbonic Peel Mask. It's got AHAs and BHAs in it. It's made with charcoal and carbonated water, which doesn't make it feel fizzy, just super refreshing, according to Ipsy. I always love sheet masks. They're a ton of fun. I still have a bunch that I haven't used yet that I probably should do. Maybe we'll do this after after we're done filming when we take off all, all the face and everything, but there that goes. What are we gonna pull out? Ooh, something's in a box. What's this? Oh, the nail polish. This is Deco Miami Nail Locker in Namaste by the Pool. I wish I could Namaste by the Pool. It's a cute little bottle. Cute little bottle. It's a nice blue color. It's a very nice blue color. I like that. I like that a lot. Shall we try it on a finger? That was two coats. That's really pretty. I like that. Um, I like this color. That's very pretty. Doing third coat probably wouldn't be too bad an idea because it's a little streaky in there, but it, it still gave a pretty good color, so. One painted nail thumbs up and one non-painted nail thumbs up. How about that? All right, what's next? What's next? All right, now we've got the Lord and Barry 20,100 Maxi Matte Crayon Lipstick in Spicy or Intimacy. Um, we got Spicy. Ooh. That's a pretty nice nude. I think I like that. It is very matte as well. Very matte. It's a real nice nude. Let's do the top. So that we are complete. Yeah. That's actually a really nice matte color. Pretty big fan of that. This is the... Neon & Co. Hair & Scalp Mask. Um, so basically this is supposed to, let's see, we'll just we'll read the directions, how, how about that? After using your preferred Neon & Co. shampoo, towel dry hair and apply a thumb sized amount of hair and scalp mask to mid lengths and ends. Massage into the scalp and leave to process for at least 5-10 to 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly and towel dry hair. Okay. So I actually thought when I was reading about this before reading those directions, I thought that this was different. I thought this was, this was going to be like a before shampoo thing. I just got a vinegar hair rinse kind of thing. And so that you do before, well that you do kind of like instead of shampooing. And usually when I use that, I don't condition either. I just use that and you leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes before you shower. Um, you like really get it in there and it's supposed to take away all of the, the buildup and stuff in your scalp. But this is not that. 
I'm always excited for things that are supposed to help my scalp because I don't get dandruff, but my scalp does get itchy from time to time, and I think it's because I tend to get a lot of buildup because I use dry shampoo and I use copious amounts of conditioner because I'm a crazy person, uh, and so I think I get a lot of I get a lot of buildup from a lot of the things that I do to my hair and my scalp, but I like things that are supposed to like rejuvenate my scalp and. You know, give it a nice little massage. A scalp massage is always good. That's supposed to also stimulate the follicles for growth too, which I'm down for because this is still this is still too short for me and it makes me sad. And last but not least, this is the thing I was the most excited for actually. The Tarte Cosmetics Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. It's a super little teeny baby one, but I'm super excited for it anyways, um, I actually was gonna try this out right now because as you can see I've got a nice lovely full face done here, um, but I didn't set my highlighter, specifically, or not my, well not my like, not that highlighter, that was powder and so it's, you know, set itself, um, but I didn't set my, like, concealer highlighter kind of thing, so we're gonna use this on one side and see if it makes a difference and then we'll not use it on the other side and see if that makes a difference too. We're getting up close and personal again. Here we go. We get some into the lid. So this is kind of cute because it's only got like the two little dots in it. It's only got the two little dots in it because it's so small so the amount that came out was this much, but that's all we need because we're only doing one cheek, so it really doesn't matter. So I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay line. Right now I am actually wearing the Amazonian Clay foundation. Uh, I don't have the Shape Tape highlighter on, though. That does make a huge difference. Oh my goodness. Wow. So you can see I'm super shiny all in here still, and that's not from my like fun fancy glitter highlighter, that's from my like concealer highlighter. And then there's the fun fancy glitter highlighter. But it is just gone here. Oh, people, setting powder is your best friend. Listen, if you're a good friend, do not let your friends go out without setting their makeup. Oh my goodness, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna set my eyebrows too, cause there's a little bit of powder left and why not? So while I'm right here, I'm going to talk about the Ciate London Starstruck Double Ended Stamp Liquid Liner that we got in April's Glam Bag. Uh, it's currently what I have on right now. I didn't get to try it last time because last bag was the one where I was surprised by everything. Um, I like it a lot. So if you recall, it has the stars on one end and it's just got the regular liner tip on the other end. Um, the liner tip on it is a little bit fatter than I'm used to, but I kind of like that because then it's easier to like get the shape I want honestly because I don't want super thin lines I want it to be a little bit thicker so you can actually see my eyeliner and you can and I like it I think it works I was gonna do the stars today too just so that you knew that I used it but then I decided not to because I just don't know I didn't know where to do it and I felt like it was gonna be overkill even though it wouldn't have been if you're looking for something similar to that because you don't want to buy the Ciate London one online I know that Lottie has it and they're currently being sold in Ulta's. I don't know how much longer they're gonna be there, but they are there right now. The other things I can talk about from last month, the Skin & Co Roma Truffle Therapy Cleansing Cream worked really well and my face felt really clean. I just wasn't a fan of the smell. It smelled like truffles and that just wasn't something I wanted by my face. Um, the Delectable by Cake Beauty Ultra Nourishing Hand Cream in Sweet Mint is amazing. It smells amazing. I have nothing else to say about that. It's just perfect. Uh, Glamour Dolls Romantic Rose Blending Brush. So this brush did not live up to my expectations. Um, it just didn't blend as well as I thought it was going to. To me it seemed a lot more like a crease brush. Like it got really well into my crease but then it kind of just like would sit there. It just wasn't fluffy enough to be a blending brush. It kind of tapered too much. Uh, and then the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Banana Setting Powder in Medium. The medium was too dark for me. So when you do setting powder, when you do translucent setting powder, banana setting powder, whatever it is, you tend to kind of, when you're using it to set your highlighter, you want it to be a little bit lighter still just so that, you know, you're adding to that brightening and lightening effect. 
this medium was too dark for me and it was honestly kind of orange too so that was really disappointing. It set so, so well. The color was just really wrong. Overall, this Ipsy bag, I'm gonna give you a uh, first impression. We're gonna give it, I mean, we'll give it like a four out of five first impression. We'll see how it goes with the hair and scalp mask, the sheet masks, and nail polish is dry now. And it looks nice. So yeah, four out of five first impression. For last month's after the fact, we're gonna give it a three out of five. Cause the brush was still good. It just wasn't, like I said, it just wasn't really good for blending. The setting powder still set. It just wasn't the right color. And then the cleansing cream still cleaned my face. It just smelled weird. So I think a three out of five is fair for that one. And I think a four out of five first impression is pretty fair for this one too. In my next one, the same way that I did in this one, I'm gonna do post reviews on the items that I wasn't able to do like a really good review of right now and then we'll do it again and we'll rate everything again and we'll see we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have the June Ipsy video up before June is over but we'll see how that goes. We know me. I'm wildly inconsistent. Thanks guys. <laughs> Other YouTuber outro things. <laughs>